My name is Molly DeLariton. I'm Director of Online Services and IT for the Society for Marketing Professional Services. Our membership is comprised of marketers and business developers who are working to secure profitable business relationships uh, for their design and building companies. The main concern we were looking to address with finding social networking for our our online community or for our community um, was our membership is comprised of mostly marketers and business developers which networking is paramount to their day-to-day -day, um, professional activity and, and professional development. Uh, so we had already of course explored working with Facebook and LinkedIn and some other social media tools uh, but we wanted to create our own brand and our own private community to facilitate what our members were already doing on other um, public outlets. We selected the social networking product for IMIS um, solely because it integrated seamlessly with, with IMIS. That was, that was essential. We uh, had already worked with some other modules and different um, third-party services that we ended up having to do database conversions and just dealing with day-to-day um, -day activity reports when you're dealing with a database. Um, our members are very transient and so the information literally can change hour by hour. Um, so it was really important for that information to be um, in real time. And the only way to do that was to work with a product that would work with IMIS. Um, Facebook, the LinkedIn, Twitter, we were, that was basically adding another layer of um, kind of complication to our day-to-day -day activity with communicating and, and trying to work with our different, um, you know, groups of memberships and, and different task force and committees. So what we wanted to do is centralize um, our, our processes and by incorporating our social networking arm of our membership communication, uh, basically, by bringing it all into IMIS, we took out many, many layers of, of redundancy and basically data integrity. Um, so now with it all integrated into, into IMIS, when we look at a member, it's very easy to you know, find out what they're doing at, and what, it's like a one-stop shop. And that's essentially what uh, the social network tool was able to do for us. When we were searching for um, a social networking tool, um, we did look at a couple different um, providers, but they did not integrate with IMIS. And they had, you know, comparable services, um, but honestly, the ability for um, this to work seamlessly with and be integrated with IMIS was kind of the no-brainer for us. And then, of course, after we did a demonstration and talked to other um, clients that were, that were using the tool, then that's what sealed the deal. One of the key elements that we were mostly interested in with, with going with um, the social networking tool was uh, the ability to facilitate chapter management. Um, we are comprised of uh, approximately 58 chapters, which of course, like most organizations, are all volunteer based, meaning you know, we rely on their extra time and their resources to manage their chapters. So what was happening was every year our chapters, of course, their leadership would change. It's on an annual basis. So we were seeing this transition of information kind of getting stuck and that every year we were having to go through the same process of, of introducing them to you know, board minutes and how budgets were done and the documentation was kind of getting lost. So by using uh, Go Lightly's tool, um, we were able to put all this into one place. So it's basically turned into a repository uh, and it's been amazing. What's happened now is we we're up to 60% now of our chapters using um, our social networking tool, and that is where they're putting their day-to-day -day, um, board minutes, uh, budget, they're putting their committees, sponsorship committees, communication committees, education committees, they're using the wikis now. Um, so we're, we've given them so many tools that we were not able to do prior um, to this this module. So um, I can't say enough about how much this has just helped us tremendously. Instead of doing the email trail or trying to get someone to use their, their firm's FTP software, which everyone knows the security implementations with something like that, um, this has really streamlined the whole thing. So we're very, very excited about that. And the chapters are too, because now when leadership changes, the information stays and they have a history where we've never been able to provide that before.
Things that have helped us improve overall since we've, we've only been live now for about six months, but we've already seen an uptick in, in participation in our forms. Uh, kind of an interesting story was we had listservs, of course, like most associations, and we decided actually to um, go ahead and kind of do it what I call cold turkey. We cut off our listserv activity and sent out a message. We gave prior notice, um, what we considered ample time for members. We gave them a month or two to let them know that we were switching all of our listserv activity over to the form which is facilitated um, with uh, the social networking tool and basically we had more activity because of that on the forum side once they saw how we were using it and the interface was much more robust and much more um, searchable and user-friendly and the idea of them being able to thread and everyone of course in today's world is just inundated with email and by the ability for them to be able to select their own settings, their communication settings, saying they want to get it in digest mode, um, they want to get it as it comes in, or maybe they don't want to get it at all. The ability for the member to basically um, select their communication preferences versus us telling them how they're going to get information is, is again, another amazing uh, you know, opportunity for us. And it provides us a much more user-friendly, customer service-based type of tool when I'm taking a member who's been a member for almost 25 years and they've used the same tools um, on, our, on our website and I show them, but now if you go over to my SMPS, that's our, the name of our online community, and you look for a member, this is the information you get. And they're like, oh my gosh, you know, this is because again, our members need this for a networking tool. They, they can actually now see what someone looks like or where they're located or statistics on their firm's um, you know, services before they even meet them. And that's, that's just a wealth of knowledge that our members are just exuberant about. The statistics involved on the social networking um, t tool aspect is amazing. Um, I can get day-to-day -day activity. We actually do like the power user because I can track who's on the community um, and we, we highlight them on our welcome page. Um, and just the, ab the ability for it to be so customized because again, I can't re reiterate enough that no one has time these days to, to dig for things. And the ability to search for keywords, the ability to use tags, the ability to only talk with people that are concerned about a specific issue and you don't want to, you, you're not going to a certain event, so you don't want to get a bunch of emails about that event. That's all now facilitated through this community, and it really allows us to market, communicate, and connect specifically um, to people that want to get information in the specific way that they've indicated. So it, that has really facilitated a, a lot of, of functionality from our office. So it's, it's saving staff time, it's saving our members time, and it's definitely providing a unique member value that we weren't able to provide before because when members, you know, of course we have a public end of our website and we have these resources available, but we have them now um, located in our library, which we've relocated to the MySMPS, um, the, the community um, side of the site. And now members, know, uh, people looking to join are like, wow, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that discussion. I want to be a part of that chapter. I want to go to those events. Um, so we have allowed certain parts of the, of the community to be public so people can see what we're doing and you know, get a taste of what it's like to be a member of our organization. It really takes the place of everything that our old website was doing from a members only capacity. It, it completes our forum discussions. It takes care of the directory. It takes care of the search. It takes care of um, managing all the resources that were available to our members. Um, there's, it's, it's kind of just a one-stop shop. I can't say that enough.